So today I'm coming to y'all compile this chain of events video where I can show this corruption in its entirety where we have the um, the public safety officials allowing people to compromise their scene as well as themselves. Um, right here, they can already demonstrate their script on how they telling us that she walked through here. This is for the reenactment that we saw where they said she's uh, stumbling down the hall. The cop there in the middle, he can't, he can't show it to you right here on camera. Um, and the dude on the right, he writing it down so he can get the story right. But um, in this video, we can't going to see a uh, um, compilation of people who were seen walking down here. And we're about to prove to y'all that this ain't their first rodeo and that they all working together. I'm going to show y'all this video and another video that is going to bust this case wide open. It's going to be undeniable that they are working together. Because we're going to see them up here. I mean, we're going to see them down here and we're going to see them upstairs in the main lobby. The same people. So, y'all get ready for this one. Because this is corruption at its finest corruption at its finest this girl's case was saw as an accidental death from the door which i never heard of before because from what i noticed when i watch any um crime scene investigative stories or anything they always rule it as a homicide first and they do a thorough investigation where they uh, secure everything. They secure witnesses. They secure the crime scene itself, not compromising none of the DNA. They collect all the stuff that's involved, all the evidence. They make sure that no one is allowed in the area to compromise this scene. But yet they did it on they did it on their own, and they allow people to come down here. So we gonna get into it, y'all. We about to see. Who I got on my suspect list. And y'all tell me in the comments. If y'all feel like any of these people. Is on y'all list. We about to get it. Oh before I forget. The reason why I'm doing down in this area. Is because this is the, the scene. That they said she was in last. Before she uh, walked into the freezer. Allegedly. Um, But here's one person. And the reason why I say it's so important because if we know her last location, then we can see who was around that same area to maybe find this uh, killer. But being that there's so many people, <laughs> it's a needle in a haystack. And, yeah, and this video is going to prove why. Because the public safety officials allowed it to happen because they intentionally wanted to compromise this case meaning they didn't want to see it go to trial they knew just what they were doing they were working for that pocket change here's some more scripting guys here it go here goes some more scripting you see all that lane and he doing what he demonstrating and now they doing some work where your gloves at Where's that little stick that shows the distance from the scene? I don't watch CSI, honey. I know how it works. Where's the markers? But look at these guys. Those are the cops. These are the ones that have this investigation in their hands. But look what they're doing. And it's the second time they came out here to talk. And then he going to do another demonstration on where he wanted us to believe that uh, she went. Why was she going to the men's bathroom? But we saw her go in the men's bathroom to reenactment. Hmm, I wonder why we did. Because he went in there and he the main person that illustrated the whole reenactment. You already saw him. He was leaning. All that. Your boy. Yours truly, right there. All three of these folks, right here. 
Ain't nothing good about none of them. None of them. Because how they're describing their rooting and all that stuff, if they didn't even find her. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then on top of that, if they claiming, oh, well, it was an accident all this other stuff, and they didn't even watch the tape yet, how they know where she went? But, yeah, we're going to get into it with these people. Let's get it. So, here comes another suspect of mine. I don't know how many of y'all got this guy, too, but he was seen cleaning, um, using the vacuum, cleaning the food court hall, and a few other times. He was about the only person that I did see actually doing work and looking like he was actually uh, being uh, normal, but... Yet and still, he's still on my list. And he changed his shirt. And what's on his shirt, girl? It's a cross. Hmm. What? He religious now. Yeah, okay. Satanic. Next. Alright, next one is your infamous guy that everybody has on their list already. But, um, I want to say that I definitely feel that he was definitely involved directly because he moved around too much. Plus, he was seen in the same hallway as if he was being been assaulted or something. Well, we're going to see it in this video, but um, I just wanted to prove to y'all that these people know what's going on all along. Don't be fooled by them. Alright, who does this look like, y'all? Is that Frank? Is that Frank? I don't know. And then here they go. Here they go. They acting like they ain't together. Game recognized game. What to expect out of the crime scene? She should be following him shortly. But why are they using the bathroom way down here? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Why would they come to the lower level just to use the bathroom? And then continue to come down here. Meanwhile, <laughs> the officials, I don't, I don't even call them the police, the officials, they supposed to be doing their job, following protocol, and making sure no one is down here. But they spent a whole lot of time using the bathroom and walking back and forth and kitchen aids, they working too. Bringing stuff in and out. People just all up and through their uh, investigation. Where they do that at? City of Rosemont, allegedly. So now she's off. Now the guy in the blue, her husband or whoever he is, you see he still ain't been accounted for. I don't even think he ever came back this way but we gonna see who's next I won't believe who's next <laughs> confirmation what's wrong is you bleeding what's wrong with your hand huh? what's wrong with your hand boy you hurt. Ain't you hurt? Oh, he hurt. And he been missing for 40 minutes. But he ain't going to the bathroom. <laughs> he ain't turn back around, so I don't need to even pause the video. But he going back in the bathroom, but for what? 
Trying to clean that bloody nose. Got pop. Who hit you? Yeah, they must have messed you up because you're looking lost like you don't know where you're going. Security guards lost? <laughs> what? Now, here comes somebody that actually was helping within this case. But, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore because of his, uh, what can I say? His determination to find out what happened to his, his niece. And you can see, this is the area where she was found. What's in the bag? What's in that bag? And he gonna be upstairs too. Your boy that's going upstairs, he gonna be upstairs too. Right in the mix. But I believe this is what got Jay Money killed right here, y'all. Because he he found something he wasn't supposed to find. And most times when stuff like that, they usually hush those people. Now, just any second, we're going to see something really strange and unexplainable. It's going to be in those stairs, right? There's going to be like a face that pops in. Like, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks like a face. And this is the and this isn't the only time that it happens. But you guys can tell me what y'all see. Where is it at? It should be coming any second. It's gonna pop in and just disappear. And then someone's gonna come down here and then it's gonna happen again. But it's gonna be a completely different face. Where is it at? Oh, it's going to come after he goes up the steps. That's right. My bad. I jumped the gun. But how is he actually still working? <laughs> if they're actually discovering a dead body in the kitchen. Look, see it? What is that? I guess y'all going to tell me that's his legs. His legs got a face? Hmm. I'm trying to bring it into focus for y'all so y'all can see it a little better. I can't tell what it is. Boop. Alright, he left now, I'm, I'm assuming. Because he's exiting the kitchen area now. I guess he's done taking his pictures. Now they got that food uncovered. But this is just uh, to show you in between the two faces that I caught in the steps. That in fact that they can be faces. And that it's not their legs. Because we're going to see him go past. And it doesn't do that. You see that? So on to the next face. Now I'm not sure if this one pops up after a person walks up again. Or if it, okay. It comes up after a person walks up. So that's how they tried to hide it. Make it look like it's his legs. But in fact it's a face. As if someone's laying on the steps or something. I don't know. Like, what is that? What is that, y'all? 
And it's a different face. Definitely a different face. And it's hair longer. And if you want to see it for yourself, just go to um, Factual Truth, Lower Level Bathrooms, 910. Raw video. You'll see it yourself. And I think it's at um, uh, 513 on the video time. Because there isn't any time. But... What is that? I had it really clear just a few minutes ago. This is some people under stair shit. They've been here for a minute too, like, real top. And then someone just comes down the steps. Right. This next person, I didn't even know she was actually in this video. And it was surprising to see her, but it's the lunch lady who was seen up in the lobby. And she was uh, talking with the people behind the counter and whatnot. But you're going to see her in the video that I'm compiling with this one anyway. So, but she goes into the woman's bathroom any second here. And it's like all my intuition served me correct because every time I thought it was somebody suspicious, in fact, they were. Like, why would she be down here? Using the bathroom, just like everybody else, in and out the scene, and then just pop up out of nowhere, and then was seen also having private meetings in the dark with the security guard and one of the people from behind the desk and an unknown man in black. I don't believe in coincidences, y'all. I don't. They conspiring. But we the conspiracy theorists. Ain't that something? Her. That lady. The lunch lady. No, this guy, I'm sure everybody's thought of him being a suspect, but what is he doing with a dolly? Ain't he the bellhop? You moving something? What you moving with a dolly? Oh, in fact, he ain't moving a thing. Hmm. But yet, he ain't helping nobody upstairs with their luggage. Did y'all see him help anybody upstairs? Because I didn't. But he helping them down here. Moving stuff with dollies. Mmm.
got one more y'all like come on i mean he ain't a suspect for me but y'all saw him in the kitchen too and who is this guy so here got my other one now this is the older lady that's seen up in the lobby I mean, you can't see her from the front here, but I can tell that's her because of the walk and the hairstyle. Here's some more of that nonsense, but this time you don't see no face, do you? Editing at its finest. It happens again as the old lady goes up the steps. I guess she's just standing on the steps, I guess. Waiting on her cue. But I don't even want to watch this one because it's just. Wow. My camera's going nuts. Um, here go to one cup. One of these people got to be responsible for that coffee cup that we all know about. Was it him? Was it him? Housekeeping, housekeeping. Now watch what she do. <laughs> you know you just fucked up, right? You know you don't fuck that. You know you just fucked up. Why would a woman go into the men's bathroom that just came out of the woman's bathroom? What's going on in that bathroom? They having a meeting? Another meeting? Conspiring? Another meeting in the men's bathroom. This shit is sick. This shit is sick. Who's she checking for over there? Like, come on. Housekeeping my ass. Two more coffee cups, y'all. Two more. Somebody left that coffee cup. Here's another one that threw me for a loop. What he got? What kind of chemicals are those? Hmm, where they use that at in the restaurant? I don't know, though. I don't know nothing. Now this guy, he looks very suspicious. I don't know who that is, but um, yeah, down in this area. How many people have y'all seen, <laughs> like, that have been allowed to walk all through here? And when did the cops come back past? You see what I'm saying? Like, man, who they playing with? Now, this is his second time down here, but, like, who is he? Got his little radio. Hmm. Huh. Alright. We see y'all. Alright, this is the last guy that I believe was down here that I feel like is a suspect that I'm also going to see upstairs. So, after he goes past, we're going to go right upstairs and show y'all. These same people seen down here will be seen upstairs. He's always helping the bellhop. That's what his job is. He the lookout. He the decoy for him. Alright, we gonna go upstairs. Alright, so there go two suspects. Bearded man and the red coat. But here come some more people that we all don't want to admit to. And we know they involved because they was in the party. But here they come.
Look at them over there conspiring. Look at them. Damn, my camera acting a fool. All right, she can't take them shoes downstairs. Pay attention to the shoes that Monique forgot. Cause I'ma zoom in on something. Put y'all on game. What Jordans look like. And I know she was wearing the 11s. Now watch what Jordan she got. Ain't them 13s with that glare on the side? They sure is. Who had on 13s, y'all? Kanika. Them wanting her shoes. Well, just wait, because she going to come back upstairs with different shoes. Watch, and we ain't going to see that gleam no more. Oh, yeah, we know she knows something. This one coming up here. Ooh, she was seeing more than a security, just as much as a security guard. Come on now. Is she on y'all list, too? I know she got to be. Come on. The girl's nebby. The girl is nebby. Look at her nebby ass. If anybody know what happened in that elevator, she know. And she know about that pool area too. You feel me? And there he go downstairs. What he doing? What's she doing? I'm all up in her shit. I don't care about them people over there. She the decoy. Her right there. That's the lookout decoy. She number two. Number two decoy. Damn. Watch this, y'all. Now, this old man, I done picked him apart. That's the same old man I saw in the morning at, like, 10. And he had that same suitcase and shit, like... He's the same guy. Who that, y'all? Security! <laughs> Security. You, you see how that works? Look at that telepathy. Look at that telepathy. I want to wait till everybody exit the room, but... Yeah. <laughs> they ain't up to nothing. <sighs> They're sitting down that whole time. As soon as the security guard come, all of a sudden, everybody out. He yeah, okay. But I ain't watching these people. Now look at my other suspect. This red coat right here. He, he taking him a sip of some coffee, y'all. He drinking the coffee. I ain't pinching nobody but him. But watch what he gear ain't do. He gear ain't show y'all. He built for this shit. He going to um, be uh, doing some extracurricular activities in a minute. Watch how he prepares himself. Watch how he prepares himself, y'all. Look at him. What you stretching for? You don't do no work. The first time you've been in here all day for real. Probably was in here twice. What you stretching for and you ain't done no work? Extracurricular activity, y'all. I'm telling you. This dude should be on y'all radar, too. A snake in the grass. Look at him. He getting a good stretch out, too, boy. He doing a number on them limbs. He stretching out. Like he about to hit the gym or something. Oh, there go your helper. There he go. There he go. I'll get him from the front too. Up oh, security. Security. Huh. Look, he's still stretching. Man. I don't know who that guy is, but 
He's still stretching, y'all. He ready to go now. What you going to go do? Transport? What you going to do? See? See? Y'all know this. Look, look. Look at these people right here. The people I got the camera on. Now the people in the back. Y'all seen them leave whenever the security guard first came in. Or he left out or whatever. Now that's the helper. And that's the red coat. He's the insurance policies right here. I guess they the one getting stuff. You know. They the ones getting that donation. You know. Here goes my third suspect. Big Greasy. Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't do that. All my suspects in one room? And possibly the victim? Possibly. Possibly. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. He fallin' right behind him, yeah. Right behind him. Ain't in cahoots. Alright. Coincidence? Nah. Now, the dude in the black has returned since you last seen him. But he came in for some help, y'all. And he gets the same guy that's been helping all this time. Same guy. Watch. Boop. There you go. There you go. That's his helper, yo. That's his helper. Look at them in cahoots. Look at them. Bellhop. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Same lady, y'all. That was downstairs that went in the men's bathroom. Same lady. <laughs> 